on the bottom of a teacup. Supposed to keep them attached. This one, not so much. So I'm gonna get this chain replaced and get this milking robot back in operation. milking again now that that uh, robot has been repaired and I thought I'd come out and give you a little update on the ditch project that I was working on last weekend and uh, throughout the week uh, where I could find the time so I had some help here which you saw in the excavation and uh, laying the pipes and what I have done the past few days is work at getting the pipe ditches backfilled and getting the head walls built. So let me show you where we're at here. So this is the ditch. My dogs are running around. And here's one of the head walls. And we got all the stone around and I need to cut the pipe off to make that closer to the rocks. There's two more farther down the ditch and there's a culvert. So what I did here this week was work at backfilling all the way to the barn so that we could drive through the driveway. Get that ground all firmed up. I'm not done yet. It needs a little more smoothing, but fitting it in around barn chores, robot repairs, and cow health means I grab an hour here and there where I can. The company that's going to install the gutters that are actually going to lead into these pipes can't do that work until next week or the week after. But once they get the gutters installed, I'll give you another update. So this is where we're at over here. This is where the pipe comes out. Yeah, dog interrupting. I have a pail there. And I will get these connectors installed and I have to put a stand pipe right where Berkeley is standing. And now Tigo, they're helping me. But I'll get the pipe up on there and then all the connectors. And then I'll be able to call it done. There's three of those. So I'll get all three done and I'll get the rest of the dirt moved out of here. I've got a nice pile of topsoil that I saved. But overall, it was a really great uh, learning experience. I had great guys to work with and then for the last pipe my daughters came out and helped me. That was fun. The excavator. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Love that. I think I'll be finding some more projects that I need an excavator for because renting that was, was really awesome. So I'm going to spend the rest of today picking up, well, putting out fires, dealing with any emergencies, but also um, picking up plastic. We generate a lot of plastic garbage on this farm. So a couple times a year we run a dumpster and we use, oh, actually it's right there. We use this, uh, grapples for the skid steer and we pick up all the plastic, put it in a dumpster uh, to deal with it. I wish we could recycle it. Um, there are a lot of states and farms that recycle that plastic, but there are none within a reasonable distance here in New York. So that's not an option for us, unfortunately. Otherwise I would, trust me. So yeah, we'll get the garbage picked up. I'll work at that. It takes several days, week or so, to get all the plastic picked up. Um, Cause we kind of fit it in around other stuff also. 
nature of the game, right? Yeah, put out the fires, prioritize the best you can, and just keep working at getting things done. I hope everybody has a really great weekend. It's gonna be a hot one here in New York. So, enjoy.